This is our Gospel Reflection for Thursday of the fourth week of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the gospel, the good news of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Depending upon what translation of the Bible you have, or perhaps it's a volume that contains just the New Testament, there's a, a colored page in the back that traces the missionary journeys of Paul. And into the first readings of these weeks after Easter, the Acts of the Apostle reading talks about the growth of the church. But it's all based on this part of John, where at the Last Supper, where Jesus is speaking to his followers, after he washes their feet, he says, the Father sent me, and now I send you. But realize that you're not more important than I am, and the Father is the one who sent me, and now I send you. And he mentions that his betrayer is not going to be sent. He knows the ones he has chosen, and he says, whoever receives the one I sent receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. And that was true both in the early church and now. How does God send us now to be messengers of Jesus, to be proclaimers of the redemption found in Jesus? It's probably not the same way that Paul and Timothy did it. It might be taking a visiting grandchild to Mass, especially if their parents don't. Or speaking of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to someone who maybe isn't sure about belief. Maybe it's calling a neighbor and just saying, I just felt I had to call and check on you these days. Can I do anything for you? There's so many opportunities we have to be messengers of the good news, messengers of Jesus, and to know that if someone receives us, listens to us, they're hearing the revelation of Jesus and they're hearing the revelation of God the Father. Don't let these days of isolation keep you from being a sign of God's love and God's message to those with whom you are in contact. Even the telephone, even Zoom can serve as a medium of the message of God's love for you. May God bless you.